Hello again, and we are off and running with our trig review. So yesterday we talked about the Pythagorean theorem. Today we're going to be talking about the trig ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent, and their reciprocals. There's actually six trig ratios, so we're going to go over those today. And our goal is that you'll be able to set up trig ratios of a right triangle, and eventually tomorrow solve for missing sides and missing angles of right triangles using these trig ratios. So the reason we can have trig ratios is because of that special relationship with the Pythagorean theorem, the, the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The lengths of a right triangle are constrained by the fact that the leg squared plus the other leg squared has to equal the hypotenuse squared. So that creates a special relationship between the angles of a right triangle and their sides, the sides opposite the angle, the hypotenuse, and so on. And these are the special ratios. The sine of an angle, so sine of theta, that's the measure of the angle, equals the length of the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. You just put those numbers right in there. The cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of an angle is the ratio of the two legs, opposite over adjacent. So remember from yesterday that the hypotenuse is the longest side. So sine and cosine are always one or less. Here's the steps that I would take to form these ratios. Number one, label the hypotenuse. You should be able to know that that's the side opposite the right angle. Number two, label the legs with respect to the angle as either opposite or adjacent, but it depends on which angle of the triangle you're looking at. And each right triangle has two acute angles. So you have to look at the angle. The leg opposite that is also the leg adjacent to the other angle, so be careful about that. And then form your ratio, sine, cosine, and tangent. So let's start with this first example on your notes. Find the sine of theta in this triangle. Well, theta is right here. The angle opposite theta is across the triangle from it. So 3 is the angle opposite of it. Well, first let's label the hypotenuse. That's what you're supposed to do. So first step, label the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse never changes. The hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. Then 3 is the side opposite or the leg opposite to theta. And 4 is the leg adjacent to theta. Now, up above here, this angle if you think about it, if I look opposite that angle, see that's not labeled right if I was looking at this top angle up here, the other acute angle of this triangle. So that's why it's important to know which angle you're looking at when you're forming these ratios. So the sine is defined to be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 3, hypotenuse is 5, so you plug that in. So the sine of theta is 3 fifths, and they take the E off of it, and that's how you write it. When you're writing these, make sure you put theta, and you put the ratio of the two sides on the other, on the other side of the equals. Cosine is defined to be the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse, so it's going to be 4 fifths. And tangent is the ratio of the legs, and it's opposite over adjacent, so that's just going to be 3 fourths. So there's your first three trig ratios. And I'm hoping you might have done this in geometry, but if not, I think you can catch on pretty quick. A nice mnemonic device that they use is called SOKATOA. So if you look, there's S equals O over H, C equals A over H, and T equals O over A. So this is so you don't have to keep referring back to everything. SOKATOA is sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, the other trig ratios, and I can think of no better time to introduce them than now, are the reciprocals of the main trig ratios. You know how fractions, you get the one, you got to get the reciprocals. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Oh, these are all out of order. Well, let's just put them up there. So cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So instead of being opposite over hypotenuse, it's hypotenuse over opposite. It's abbreviated CSC. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. It's SEC of an angle equals hypotenuse over adjacent. So notice it just flipped. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So instead of being opposite over adjacent, cotangent is adjacent over opposite. When you're doing these trig ratios, don't forget to put the theta or the measure of the angle in there. That's very important. And to remember which ones are reciprocals of which one, I always think there's only one co per pair. So for example, sine cosecant. 
cosine secant tangent cotangent so do you notice with each of those pairs there's one co in it so that you can kind of remember that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine so one last example here let's try to find all six trig ratios with relation to this right triangle my first step is going to be labeling the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is the is the side opposite of the right angle which in this case is 13 so we're labeled that and then our angles over here to the right theta if we go opposite that's going to be 5 the adjacent leg is 12 remember the adjacent leg actually forms a side of the angle so there's opposite there's adjacent sine cosine tangent so katoa so sine is opposite over hypotenuse so that's going to be 5 over 13 cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so that's going to be 12 over 13 and tangent is opposite over adjacent which is going to be 12 over 13 oh that's wrong that should be 5 over 12 so make sure you get that right on your notes that should be 5 over 12 well, you know I'm only human so that should have been a 5 over 12 on that not a 12 over 13 sorry cosecant remember the cosecant reciprocal of sine one co per pair so all I'm going to do is flip this around once you find sine I would just flip it upside down to get the cosecant so that's just 13 over 5 secant is going to be the reciprocal of cosine so instead of being 12 over 13 it's going to be 13 over 12 and cotangent this one which this angle was wrong it should be 12 over 5 I mean yeah 12 over 5 should be this last cotangent one sorry about that these two were wrong but hopefully you got that corrected and that's all there is to it now you're ready to roll for tomorrow I hope you um, were able to put that together on how to form those trig ratios thanks a lot and we shall see you next time